Hello everybody and welcome back. We're here for the third challenge this month. This is part of the collaboration that I'm doing with Natalie from Line.Arrow. We have released the Essential Ephemera bundle this month um, and have been giving away some freebies and setting some challenges throughout the month all based around this kit. So as I said, this is week three. Um, before we get into what we're doing, I'm going to show you the freebies that you can grab first of all. Uh, so the first set of freebies that I show you, these are the ones that are available in my Facebook group. Uh, Natalie from Line.Arrow will obviously have her own freebies. They'll be in her Facebook group, uh, but these ones are available in my Facebook group, Nonstop Paper Crafts. If you are not part of Facebook, you can also grab my freebies on my Ko-fi page. I have a Linktree link down below that links to all of my social media accounts and to my Ko-fi page. Um, so if you click on that, you'll be able to find everything that you're looking for. So let me just show you what we have this week. So in the main kit, I had larger ones of these, but basically you cut them out and then you fold them over and they'll make a uh, journaling card. So you'll have a decorated side and then a side for writing. Um, however, sometimes on the decorated side, you do also have some space for writing as well. Uh, these pages you may recognise, these were part of um, the freebies from last week. Uh, so I've just shrunk them down and put them on the front so that they can be part of these journaling cards. So I've got each of those. So they're mini versions of them. Uh, they also come in sepia, just like the main kit. So when you buy the main kit, you also get all pages in sepia. And then to carry on with the minis, I created some other little mini items. So we've got a smaller coin style envelope, um, a mini file folder. Uh, we've got some mini photos, a little floral butterfly, a mini envelope with a floral design on, a small label, um, and then a small stamp section also have some floral details. Uh, again, that is also available in sepia. So those are the ones that are available from my Kofi shop or from my Facebook group if you head on over there. As I said, all the links will be in my link tree down below. As well as that, we are also hosting in um, other Facebook groups. So Two Sister Jam, Savage Art, Sweet Pea Papers and Junk Journal Tutorials and more are also hosting these challenges. So as a thank you, Natalie and I are designing them some freebies that are just for their Facebook group. So the next freebies that I show you, you can only get if you're part of their Facebook group. They're not available in my Kofi shop or anywhere else. Um, it's just a thank you to those Facebook groups for supporting us and obviously for their members as well for joining in with the challenges. So the first set of freebies that I have, these are for Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. So we have this backing page. So you've got some lined paper as well as some of the floral and butterfly designs that you'll see in the rest of the kit. And again, that is available in sepia. So you'll get those two pages if you head on over to the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. The next set of freebies are for Savage Art Facebook group. So if you are a member of that Facebook group, uh, you can pick these up. So again, we've got that lined paper design, florals down the side. And again, that is available in sepia. And I really love how these flowers look in sepia. Really, really beautiful. So again, that's Savage Art. And the next page, this is for the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. Uh, so similar to the other one, we've got the florals this time on the other side and again some writing space um, and that also comes in sepia as well. So that's in the junk journal tutorials and more Facebook group. And then last but not least, we have the final page where we have some florals at the top and the bottom. Again, some lined paper in the middle um, and again that comes in sepia as well. Uh, and this is for the Two Sisters Jam Facebook group. So you can find all of those freebies in those Facebook groups. As I say, they are just to say thank you to those groups for taking part and for supporting us and for the members of those groups as well who are also getting involved in the challenges. But you won't be able to find them anywhere else apart from those Facebook groups. Right, so the last two weeks have been to build the base of an ephemera holder 
and then to create some pockets that was last week's challenge to get the pockets put in so this week is kind of um, now looking at the ephemera and trying to either decorate the ephemera or start adding it in here and seeing what goes where so um, as you can see I've had all of my ephemera cut out I've even cut out uh, this week's freebies as well so they're all in there and ready to go uh, so it's just kind of figuring out where we're going to put them so if you have missed the last couple of weeks I'll just take you on a little flip through of the base of my ephemera holder so on the front we have a circle closure opening and then we have an expandable set of pockets that's all on the front so that's going to be perfect for my smaller items like my labels tabs things like that then just grab a piece of paper to show you we have a side pocket here underneath this so we've got a big side pocket there then as we open up we get all of these different envelopes so I'll show you bit by bit so I'll come over to this side first um, so I did recycle some old envelopes and this one I believe opens from the top so you've got that window in there and you can still see through it um, whatever it is I decide to put in there then on this side there is a little tuck spot down the bottom as well but again those beautiful floral papers then on the center of this one we have an envelope here but this is also a pocket so there's a large pocket back there as well then on this side again we've got a slot at the top of the envelope so we can have a taller tag or something going in there this then flips out and then we've got a double pocket here so we've got inside the envelope where you can kind of see again through these torn windows but that you've also got behind the envelope is a pocket as well so that's kind of a double pocket uh, and that's that page then as we come over we have this side which is where we've got these layered pockets these were the freebies from last week so they all stack up and we've got some layered pockets on that side this one we have two larger pockets stacked um, on top of one another there this then opens out and then I've got three pockets here so we've got one there where we can put some tags another one and another one right at the top we also then have two side pockets here uh, ready for some tags or journaling cards to go in there um, as well as all that each of these sections are also envelopes so we have a large pocket there on this page we also have a large pocket and on this page we also have a large pocket so there's three large pockets there as well then on the back we have again another side pocket um, and then this frame I believe was the freebies from last week as well um, I've just put some vellum inside the window and then this is now a pocket there as well so I've got lots and lots of room for all of the ephemera so that's really what we need to focus on today is going through the ephemera sorting it out maybe starting putting some in doing a little bit of decorating because um, while we've got all these beautiful florals there could possibly be some elements stuck around in places so that's the focus for this week's challenge so I'm just going to empty out um, the bits that I have cut out now I haven't cut out all of my pockets because I wanted to see what I needed first so I've cut some out and then if I need any more I can always come back for them So this is the huge bundle. Now this is a mixture of freebies, bits from the kit, but as you can see there is just so much here uh, to play with. So if you have purchased the kit and had all of the freebies as well, um, there should be plenty plenty here to create a journal and have it fully embellished. So I think I'm going to start by just sorting things into piles so i'm going to have like labels and smaller fussy cuts in one pile um and then things like pockets and other elements up the top there 
Now I have on a lot of these, I've actually um, printed double sided. So there is actually something on the back so they're not white. Um, so you, you can see on the inside of this file folder, um, it has a print. Uh, this is actually a kit in my Etsy shop. Um, these are dyed background pages. So I've got a mix of tea stain, coffee stain. I think it's called red sorrel, which is uh, what this is. Uh, and something else as well so yeah they're all just a range of different dyed papers that I've done at home um, and then I've kind of scanned in some of my really pretty ones that I really really like so this one had beautiful leaf designs on it and everything um, so yeah that's in my Etsy shop uh, we've got that mini envelope that's these are the ones from today so these are those mini journaling cards so all you need to do is fold them in half and then these will get glued closed although you could essentially make these a pocket as well if you wanted to so you could just glue around um, two of the edges and make it a pocket or make the opening there it's entirely up to you I am just going to glue these down I think um, and make these a journaling card um, or as this is an ephemera holder ready for a project I might just keep them folded and then I can decide when I actually create a journal and use some of these items so it's entirely up to you how you want to use these uh, but this is how they were designed so that they fold over and then I, essentially you would just glue them uh, together and then it's a journaling card one side decorated one side lined for writing that's the idea of them so I'm just going to fold each of them over Yeah, I know lots of people do like to do writing in their journals, so I do always try and make sure that there is a lot of writing space, whether it's on the journal pages or the ephemera allows for some writing. Right, so we've got some journal cards and we've just got some little, lots of tags. I think they can go in their own pile. We've got another label, we've got an envelope, let's get that folded. Uh, so again this has one of the um, dyed papers on the other side as well for a lot of my recent projects I've used my lace background that I have um, but as I said I've used it a few times now in other projects so I thought I want to try and use one of my other kits from Etsy so I decided to revisit this one um, and I actually forgot how beautiful the papers are Just folding along those lines like that okay so that's whoops and envelopes that can go on that pile what have we got some tickets that's more like ephemery type stuff that one I've got the other envelope so this is the standard size coin envelope and then obviously you've got this mini one as well so you can kind of see the size difference how I've used them in the kits And as I say, the kit is available um, when you buy the kit. It's, it says there that it's 20 odd pages, but that's just in colour. Uh, you also get all pages in sepia as well. That is part of the bundle. So I have printed out my ephemera. Some of it um, is colour, some of it is sepia, because I decided that I wanted a bit of a mix and match. If you um, go on over to my Facebook group, Nonstop Paper Crafts, uh, you'll be able to see lots of other people and how they've kind of been working with the kit and the freebies. It's been really amazing to see actually what people have been up to. Lots of people have either gone full sepia or full um, colour. Uh, as I said, I'm mixing it up. Some people have. Um, again, because I've got a kit and Natalie's got her half of the kit, um, some people have mixed both of ours, some people have done two projects, so I'm actually doing two, I'm doing one with my kit, one uh, with Natalie's, um, and yeah, some other people are doing the same, so um, they've kind of done two lots. But as I said, there's just so much, I mean this, what you see here, this is all just from me. Um, I've got another wallet full of Natalie's stuff. 
um, as I said, because I'm making two of these ephemera holders. But there is just so much here, so much for you guys to work with. And because lots of people do botanical style journals, uh, these actually would work um, Yeah, in any journal. You could mix and match these. They don't have to be a journal necessarily made with the backing papers that we've created. Um, I've got these large washi tape type strips. I think they're kind of a separate thing on their own. Got these, which are, I guess, essentially tags or journaling cards. What should we put them as? Tags, maybe. Another tag. Uh, that will be a framed window. I'll leave that as it is for now. Oh, I've got those in sepia. Got a lot of labels. Little birdie. Yeah, so these are the larger uh, cards. So again, as I say, they are different patterns. But they are the larger version. Oh, that one's got something tucked in it. So again, I haven't glued these yet because, as I said, I was wondering whether to make a pocket out of them or what. I'm not sure that I will. Um, but that's what I've kind of kept them open for, just in case. But as you can see, there is just so much here. And these elements can go with so many different journals that you might have on the go I've got another window here so I might actually put that there I think these are all just tags more labels because you can never have too many labels I've got a tab oh this was the library card so that actually needs building. I might keep that together and put that with that one. Another label. Another envelope. Yeah, so the kit is an ephemera bundle. So essentially there's not really many journaling pages, but um, I did include in the kit a couple of backing pages that you could use either as journaling pages or um, as a backing page to these. Uh, this is another one of my dyed papers from the kit. Uh, not the ephemera kit, for my dyed papers kit. Uh, but yeah, so in this ephemera bundle, there are a couple of backing pages that you could possibly use as journal pages as well. And then in the freebies that have been released each week, there have also been a lot of backing pages. So you could um, make a journal but the idea that Natalie and I had is that sometimes people just like to make ephemera. They don't want to make a whole journal. They just like having small bits of ephemera that they can kind of decorate and make their own. So that's kind of what we were thinking with this one. Uh, that's the sepia version of the library card. So we'll put that there to build in a second. More tags, 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 labels. And another envelope. So this is this one, but in sepia. I never know, is it sepia, sepia? I'm probably saying it both ways in the video. We're slowly coming to the end of the pile. Right, that's all tags. Another tag. Um, these are really liked making. So these are like the um, kind of ticker tape stickers that you see as well when you're uh, doing like scrapbooking and stuff. I think these are all tags, but these are all the colour ones. Tags. So I've got some nice large ones. So they're going to fit really 
uh, well in the larger pockets. And then I've got a couple of envelopes that are also in the colour. So I'll quickly fold those and then we can start cracking on with getting this in the ephemera holder. So that's another one of the dyed pages. I love this one. As you can see, you can see all the lovely um, leaf prints in there as well. So we do have absolutely tons here. I'm not even sure we're going to fit it all in this ephemera holder, but we will see. We do have a lot of pockets. I mean, some of the ephemera holders that I have seen in the Facebook group have been absolutely amazing. Um, I've seen one that I think is my absolute favorite at the moment. It looks like a handbag and then you open it up and it's got all of these different compartments that's probably my favorite at the moment um but yeah it's it's really incredible again it always surprises me people and i've said it lots of times in these collaborations considering people are working with the same papers the same kits the same freebies um the differences in the projects that are made then yeah it just always is incredible to me So yeah, if you're after any inspiration on how to use all these different bits of ephemera, go and check out the Facebook groups because you'll see lots and lots of inspiration there. Right, so they're all the different bits and pieces. So I've got envelopes, which I think I'll just tuck in there for a second. These are all the tags. So as you can see, there's an absolute stack of tags. There's so many. Some of them are back, some of them aren't. Um, but again, I think it just depends on when they're going to be used. I've got lots of labels. I've got a tab there and some washi tape. So I think we'll sort out these. Now what I'm thinking, because obviously they've come in sepia and colour. So they're my sepia ones. That's my colour ones. And those were the windows, weren't they? So let's move those out of the way. So I know I'm folding these the wrong way. But it's just so I can see where I'm folding. So that goes that way. That goes that way. And then we're going to fold them the other way. Now, because I've printed on both sides, actually this might be fine on its own. But um, when I designed these, there is another kind of little rectangle part that is supposed to fit on the front. So it's up to you. You can choose to use that. I'm not sure whether I quite like actually the other side. What's on this one? So that's a tea stained one. Let's see how that looks. So that's not too bad either is it i think i especially like that one because the colors actually go really nicely with this i mean while it does because it is sepia i'm just wondering whether i want the color version on the front of the pocket like that i think i might do that but this one i'm not going to cover originally i was going to kind of mix and match to so have sepia on the color color on the sepia but I actually don't think I want that one because I do like this. So I am just going to fold these over the back. And this one I'm going to fold over the back. So that my pocket looks like that. So I'm just going to give it a quick ink before I stick everything down. I'm going to do the same for this one actually before I start sticking things down. I really love these um, library cards. I've used these a couple of times in a couple of kits. 
and I just love the library pockets. Right, let's ink these. Okay, so that's one pocket, and then the next one. Now, I was just actually thinking as I was inking that and sticking that down, is you have an option. So you could either not bother about the back because they tend to obviously get stuck on a page, but obviously where I have... Um, got these you could essentially make a pocket on the back as well so you actually have a library card there and you can have that there which is what I'm actually thinking I might do so I might put yeah that one on there and that one on there so let's give these a little link does stick out just ever so slightly. So I'm just going to take a smidge off that edge. Like that. And originally I didn't ink the back because we weren't going to see it, but now that we are, because we've got a double-sided pocket, Right, so we can then put these in. So let's have that one in there. And obviously because we haven't got the, uh, the flaps to go around, this is going to be a tighter pocket, which means I may need to trim this down a little bit, but that's not a problem. Uh, so on this side we've got the colour, so we want the sepia. And then on this side, again, because of the glue, I need to just trim that ever so slightly. So I'm just going to take off a little bit off that side. bit off that side and see what difference that makes and if I need to take off any more then I can and it goes in but it's a bit tight so I might just do a tinsy bit more It's still a little bit tight, but it does go in. That one goes on that side. And again, this side will sit a little bit taller because obviously it's got glue at the bottom as well. But it does fit in. I've got that one on that side. And that one goes in there. Oh. Okay, so we've got those. Now we can decorate these a little bit as well because obviously this side is decorated so that's not too much of a problem but on this side we perhaps want a little bit of something on there. So I've actually got one that says library. Or we've got book. We've got two with book in slightly different colours. Um, I do quite like the butterfly actually. Oh, I've got another library in a blue. Well, because this is blue, that one might look good over this side. 
and then maybe having book on this side and then we could possibly use some of this faux washi to kind of come in and stick on there like that yeah looks good to me so we'll do the same with this one I'm going to do it just past where that birdie is, like that. I'm going to give these all a little bit of an ink. Right, so what way round was we doing this? No, so that blends in too much. So I'm thinking that one. Okay, and then it was going to be the library, wasn't it? Yeah, because then we've got the blue in the bird and we've got the blue in here, so that looks quite nice actually. So that can go there. And this one can go there, because again we've got the green leaves in there and then book. So I think that's how it's going to look. So let's move whoops, those labels out the way, get these bits stuck down. Okay, so that's those two done. Okay, so we've got those on that side and those on that side. So it just decorates that bit up a little bit. Obviously, as I said, they are decorated. So at least we've got those ready. So I think I might just start going ahead and putting things in the ephemera holder. So this week's challenge is really about just getting some of your all your ephemera ready um, and to start obviously then getting things in your ephemera holder. There will be another challenge next week um, which will be a kind of finishing off week so if you are a little bit behind um, I know I have been as I said I'm making two I'm making one with my kit one with Natalie's um, so obviously where I'm flitting between the two I'm not particularly making much progress on either at the moment because I am going backwards and forwards but I'm hoping um, to obviously get all catched up caught up ready next week um, actually I think what I'm going to do is sort out these ones because I want these ones back to back um, and then we can put the tags in so let's get rid of those for a second So obviously I've got all of these in sepia and in colour. So they're my sepia, they're my colour ones. Right. Um, so these two you can write on because obviously they're light enough and they've got spaces. And then the other two you can't particularly because obviously that's got writing and that's quite chock full of stuff. So ideally what I want to do then is on the colour ones. So these are the light ones where you can actually write. So I want these backed with the ones that you can't write on. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to have those two back to back, those two back to back. And then sure which way up it goes um, we can have is it going to be the same yeah so I'll have those two back to back and those two back to back and that's how we'll do it again when you stick these together you could possibly make them into a pocket I'm not doing that because I think I've got enough pockets and things going on in here I've got lots of envelopes and all that sort of thing so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to stick them together just to give them a little bit more sturdiness um, but it's both decorated plus I can write on it this side obviously I can't write on it but that's not an issue um, I can of course decorate this by sticking other bits and pieces on it so I think that's what I'm going to do stick all these down and get them inked ready to go in the ephemera holder
What I really love about this ephemera bundle is the variety that's in here. Both Natty and I have tried to make sure that there are a good range of different styles of pockets, different styles of envelopes, different styles of um, tags. There are also lots of different sizes. Um, obviously some people like to make tall skinny journals so things like this uh, would be perfect for that. Uh, there are some people that like to make smaller journals so again we've got different sizes so we have got some smaller tags as well. Um, so yeah this ephemera bundle is supposed to be to kind of go with any sort of size or style journal that you have. I mean obviously they're quite floral but you can grunge them up so if you're more um, grungy and you like a grungy style then um, ink is your friend, ink it up, make it grungy. These are um, hopefully a nice versatile bundle for you to use in your projects. Right, so that's one. Let's do this one. I have had a lot of people asking me recently um, what the difference is or what differences I've found between the glues that I use. So I currently use uh, Barely Art Precision Art Craft Glue and I absolutely love it. Um, I know lots of people use the Arts Glitter Glue and that's mainly what people have been asking me. I've had about three people ask me actually uh, which one I prefer out of the two or how have I found they compare. If I'm honest, I've never used the Arts Glitter Glue only because it um, isn't something that's supplied really here in the UK. You can get it, but it tends to be really expensive because it has to be kind of shipped in. Um, so I haven't bought it. Um, even Barely Art Glue has only started being supplied in the UK, I think it was August last year. So that's still relatively new here. Um, and yeah, since I've bought it, and I um, bought it a couple of months after it came out, I think I bought it in the September or October, um, I have not gone for another glue since. I think this holds really well. Um, I love that you get different tips. So I'm, I mean, I, I mostly use the precision tip, if I'm honest. I don't really use any of the other tips. Um, but it does come with other tips. It also came with a huge refill bottle, um, which I'm still going through. I haven't bought any new glue since I bought this in whenever it was I said September October uh, it has lasted me so long and a little goes a long way you don't need masses amount of glue um, it holds the paper really well it's got a very good grab um, and it doesn't warp the paper because the problem I had is some of the glues that I was using um, not so much for journal making although, although obviously you do use I do glue a lot of paper but when I make cards and things where obviously I've got sometimes um, some really skinny sentiments and things that I want to glue onto a card um, I found that it just warped it just made everything kind of bend and twist um, and this doesn't do that so uh, for precision gluing this has been really really great so yeah I actually have not gone back to any other glue because aside from this glue I do have um, Kalal 3-in-1 which was the glue I was using before this but the problem with the Kalal it's very similar to um, the Beacon 3-in-1 and the Fabri-Tac it does have a smell um, which doesn't necessarily bother me but it does seem to bother my family they're forever going oh you're gluing aren't you because they can smell it around the house um, so this doesn't have an odour which is the one thing I really like about it I can actually craft and glue without much complaint from everybody else in the house oh so yeah I I really like the barely art glue I think it's really really good and actually it's a fair price um, as well it's not horrific and the, like I said the fact that it's lasted me for absolutely ages so the Kalal glue 
um, I must have been buying every couple of months um, but this one like I said I've had it since September October um, and I think it was only last week that I topped up this glue so and that was with the refill that came with the pack anyway and I've still got about two-thirds of the refill bottle still left so I've got absolutely plenty this is going to last me ages uh, so I'm very impressed by that we all like good value for money don't we um, but yeah sorry I cannot tell you how that compares to the art glitter glue because I have not used art glitter glue um, I know lots of people swear by art glitter glue and say it's absolutely fantastic um, and if you can get it obviously try the two but art glitter glue here is quite expensive because obviously it comes uh, from overseas right okay so that's all of those I think I'm going to start adding some bits into here so as I said this is perfect for all of my small bits so like my labels so I'm just going to grab my labels and I may as well pop the tab in there because I think I've only got the one tab and they can all go in that first section uh, then I had all of my different little fussy cuts somewhere where did I put those under here so I think I'm going to have to separate these out let's move all that over because obviously these longer ones won't fit in there but the smaller fussy cuts you can absolutely pop in there so these were the journaling cards oh there's a little birdie the smaller journaling cards oh actually they fit in there that's good that's too big but then those smaller journaling cards we can also fit in i believe yeah excellent so need a bigger desk these bits can go together that's going to be too tall these are all little fussy cut bits am i even in frame probably not that's going to be too big isn't it it might just fit in there but i don't want to squish it and bend it um again same for that one that's too tall that's a small one those bits I think that's going to be too big oh no that might be just okay and then that one's too big right okay so let's have those in next then we can have some more of the little fussy cats and then in the back we can have those journaling cards so they all fit in there like so um then obviously we do have this pocket here where i might pop an envelope if i've got one small enough oh i wasn't sure that would fit but i think it might excellent so that envelope can go in there and then obviously that's free to have some stuff in as well at some point since this is a lot of envelopes i want to get rid of these envelopes for a minute because this will obviously be great for tag so this one's quite a tall one so i'm going to need a big tag for this and i do have some big tags oh got another label there that can go in the other one in a minute is that the biggest tag that i've got i've obviously got it in sepia as well so i can have those two together and slot them in there now i 
just was toying with the idea of um, like obviously punching this and putting all the ribbons in and stuff but obviously that's going to add far too much bulk which um, I don't particularly want uh, just yet so um, I'm going to leave it because obviously this is an ephemera holder I will then be taking the ephemera out when to, once I want to use it in a journal um, so I don't really want to decorate it yet because I don't know how I want it to look until it's being used so I'm going to leave that for now I think right so I've got those two large ones in there so that's fine uh, what else have we got so we've got this which would obviously be a window so I'm just going to fold that in half because again I don't want to cut that out until I know where it's going to be used so that I'm just going to pop in but obviously I want something that's going to look attractive in there what else have we got? Okay, oops, let's bring that over. So we've obviously got these index cards. Also thinking of this side and what we've got. they're going to be good for the smaller tags yeah that's a good idea actually yeah so we we'll use these for the smaller tags I think these could be for the larger elements so at the back we can have these Okay, so we've got those and then we've also got so the smaller tags we want on the other page so let's put those up there real small or a bit bigger So you see what I mean, we've got lots of different sort of styles and sizes and shapes. Um, so I've got some that are quite sort of wide and stumpy. You've got these kind of longer and thinner ones. I've also got some ones that are just like uh, a rectangle with curved edges. Um, lots and lots of different sorts of sizes and styles. I've got some that have a more decorative top somewhere in here. We've got these ones that have the kind of wider hole uh, that's the one with the more kind of decorative top that's quite a small one would we say these are the large ones again these are all backed with that or sorry double sided with that tea stained paper that's in that uh, dyed backing paper pack that I have so these are all larger tags Right, so these are all the larger tags, excellent. So let's have a look. So these two then I'll put in this one. Again, they could be poking out slightly. Then we've got space for something to be tucked in there. Plus obviously we've got this. Um, right, I'm just trying to grab the ones that are relatively the same height, that's slightly bigger. the same as that isn't it getting sepia another one of those that's like a tall skinny one which I've seen somewhere like that one that's that but in sepia another one of those yeah that's that one and then that one right okay so I'm going to have these two taller ones 
Now my evening frame. These two taller ones tucked in here. I'm going to have these stumpy ones slightly kind of fanned out a little bit and tucked in the back here. I want to check. Yep, yeah, I should be able to fit those two in there. And I've still got space that gets folded over. Then I've got these to pop. Right, I'll keep those two out for a minute. I've got three sepia ones which can go in first and then we can put some colour ones in as well. all of those different tags there so that's that section moving on to this section uh, so this is where I want to put these long thin ones oh, just found some more tags are smally that can go up with those ones right okay that I'm going to put back on the previous page but these tall ones I want to go in these pockets so I'm just going to pick two of them so obviously we've got the sepia and the color that could just go in there and we're going to do the same with this one that goes behind whoops that one like so then when we open up in here uh, we've got these I'm going to pop those in there I think and then I've got these ones which I think are going to pop in there like that then I've got all of these pockets and those pockets for some of these smaller tags so let's grab all the small ones and I've got a couple of taller ones here and I've got that one so this might have to go at the back with some of those taller ones then we can have some of these around here so I don't always want sepia so I'm just going to kind of spread them out a little bit because I think at first we do actually have a lot of the sepia ones and the colours are all buried underneath Oops. right so now we've got some colour ones something like that I've got another one and then obviously I've got this top pocket and I'm thinking that that's where I can have these bits because these are tall but thin and obviously it doesn't matter if they poke out the top a little bit but they can go in there like that so we've got this file folder so that can go in there as well um what else have we got i think that's it isn't it so already looking seriously chunky we've still got these what did i have on the back so i need something to go in here and i've got these library cards so i could possibly have a library card in there couldn't i So 
I'm thinking, do I want to make some kind of pocket or something for here to put that library card in there? I've got these left over, so I could make a belly band. Yeah, I might make a belly band out of that. This obviously just needs to be trimmed slightly. Trimmed and inked. didn't I? Yeah, let's glue those. So that goes there and there, and that's going to hold that library card in place as well. So all that leaves are my envelopes, and I'm thinking they can go in the main pockets. So obviously they're coin envelopes, so they can go together. They're the same. They're the same. So I'm thinking these three go in this pocket and then thinking these two can go in the next big pocket and then this one and I've got these huge tall strips are probably going to be far too tall so I might need to trim those down a little bit what else have we got we've got these words as well but they can go around in other places that one can go in there I still need to think of something to pop into that pocket but I can it needs to be thinner what did we have that was thinner a chintzy bit thinner and that's thinner so let's have a look at those two those bits can go back in there I'm sure that's sticking out more than it was Let's have a look. Well, that fits quite nicely in there. And I like how that sticks out. So I might go with that one. Okay, so back to this bit then. Since those two don't want to fit in there, I'm just going to slot them behind there. That one can also go in the bottom there. And this one up at the top. I don't mind if that's sticking out a little bit. That doesn't bother me. And that is a very stuffed ephemera holder so I do still have some of the washi tape bits I still have these words what I'm going to do I think is between now and next week so I will have another video next week uh, as I said though this is the final challenge there won't be a challenge next week next week's will just be finishing off um, so between now and then I'm going to go through because I've just obviously just shoved things in here just so you can kind of see how it goes together but these all need to be inked so I will ink them up um, I'm not going to overly decorate anything. Um, I may decorate the ephemera holder, but not necessarily the ephemera pieces, because as I said, it depends how I'm going to use them in whatever project. But obviously I've got all of this space here, so I can use some of the fussy cuts that I've got here. I can use some of the words even that I've got here to kind of decorate as well. Um, so I think that will probably be next week's video. Like I said, I'll have everything inked between now and then. But like the final decorating, the finishing off will happen next week in the kind of catch up week. Um, but you can see how full this is. This holds lots and lots of ephemera. There is absolutely tons um, if you combine the kits as well as the freebies. 
and this like I said is all just my part of the kit you have also got Natalie's as well and I am making another one of these with Natalie's papers um, if you want to go and grab the ephemera bundle the link will be down below for you to pop over to Etsy uh, to grab the full bundle kit as I said you get it in colour and sepia that's all part of the bundle so it's all for one price if you want to grab hold of any of the freebies you need to head over to non-stop paper crafts um, or to my Kofi page you can find all of the freebies there except the ones that are exclusive to certain Facebook groups well I do hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up I'd love to hear from you as well so please feel free to drop a comment I always respond to anybody that writes anything down below if you are not already subscribed to the channel please get, click that subscribe button also make sure that you are clicking the bell so then you are notified of any new crafty videos as they come out thank you so much for watching today i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next crafty video bye for now